Hey guys, it's Googly Game with another video and this time I've got a little how to video on using Google Pay on a custom ROM with root. So stay tuned for that. So guys, Google Pay has a uh, pretty much taken over UPI scheme in India. UPI is a great platform for people to transfer money from one account to the other which is really really great. There are a lot of applications for this uh, such as Beam UPI, Paytm UPI, uh, phone pay there are a lot of applications for us Indians to transfer money from one account to another. Now this is not specific to Google Pay but since Google Pay is pretty popular with Android users, I'm gonna use Google Pay as an example. I have tried it with Phone Pay and also Beam UPI. Seems to be working really well. Now the problem with these applications and a lot of banking applications in general is that uh, once you have root or uh, once you have a custom ROM, like all my phones have a custom ROM. There is no phone without a custom ROM. All the phones you see there, even this one, even my daily driver, one to 60, all of them have a custom ROM. Now, with a custom ROM and with root, the problem is that uh, banking applications don't ro like root. Safe to say it is a uh, well-founded fear because root does allow you to have base level access. A lot of bad things so they don't want to take a chance. So rooted devices are not generally supported by these applications. So what do we have? We have Magisk Hide which is a great application or a great feature with Magisk where you can hide the root functionality from these applications. But Google Pay, well they don't do that either. Even with Magisk Hide you may not be able to use these applications. No. This is a method which I found in a lot of forums. It is actually floating around. You may already know this, but there are a lot of people who have requested for this. So let's get started. Now, first of all, what you need is Google Pay application. You don't need any extra application. You also need Magisk if you are using root. If you're not using root and only are using a custom ROM, you don't need to do the Magisk stuff. So first of all, you need to install Ma Google Pay. So I have already installed Google Pay. I'm just going to uh, clear up my storage just to show that I have just installed Google Pay. I don't have any other application or anything back in the background. Now first things first, if you are running root, you need to go into Magisk and you have to check the safety net status. It has to be true for CTS profile and also basic integrity. So Google knows your phone is correct. There are a lot of new ROMs, especially on the 6D, where CTS profile will so show false. If it is the it, if it is so, you have to go to uh, the uh, modules and get the props tool. That is Magisk Hide prop configuration. You have to read how to set it up. So there is a lot of things you need to do and use a fingerprint scanner. So you need to use that and then get it running. So after doing that, this will show true. After that, you will be good to go with the next step. First things first, always whenever you are using a banking application or a native application which actually uses money, uh, I would suggest you use Magisk Hide. So Magisk Hide is available here. Uh, I usually always uh, hide any application which uses money. So this one is going to be here, Moki. The ROM I'm using is Moki, so that's the reason it has Moki. Uh, I've, uh, I've already hidden Android Pay or uh, Google Pay. I also actually uh, hide library services. May not be required, but I do this anyways. And also Google Service Framework because a lot of things are linked through that. So with that done, we can try it, right? Uh, I have already hidden it. I'm going to try it. So select the language, input my phone number, choose the uh, email account. And it's gonna say Google Pay can't be used on this device. Sorry, it isn't passing Google Pay security check because it may be rooted or running an unsubscribed or a custom OS build. As a result, Google can't confirm that your device meets Google Pay security standards. There you have it. That is basically the error which you will be getting. You won't be able to register it. So what you need to do now is go to storage, clear storage so that everything is back to normal. And what you need to do, this is the main step in it. Go to settings, go to apps and notifications, see all applications. This is on Pi, also on Oreo, same thing. You just need to find Google Play services. So you can see Google Play services in the permission. You need to disable phone. If you disable that, it doesn't seem like related functions, but you need to disable that. Now I've already cleared my storage um, on Google Pay. So I'm going to run Google Pay again. It's going to ask me uh, the same things gonna register that again I choose an account 
now it's waiting for an OTP and uh, hopefully an OTP will come to my phone number and yeah OTP has just come and as you can see now I can go ahead with the registration for process and all that I've been using this method for some time now it is available on the forums I did not devise this there are smarter people out there who are who have already done that pretty awesome here it is so it does work now you can go ahead and uh, register your uh, cards and all that whatever you want to do it or don't I mean if you don't want to so that's also available so there you have it guys that is a very quick and easy setup on how to use google pay on your device after you have done all this you can go back and enable the permissions on the play services a lot of applications does require this one after you have done that you, you will still be able to use google pay so you won't have any issues with that as i've already said this also works with phone pay and also beam upi i have tried it out don't need to worry about it so yeah guys i guess i'm just it about the video then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye